What's happening, ballers? T-Bone 105 here, and we are back in Minecraft, continuing on with the Lion King mod. And, uh, yeah, before I get too into this here, I just want to apologize for the length of time between the last episode, which was the first episode, and this one. Um, basically what happened was I moved... And it took way, way times like 10 or maybe even 13 times longer than it should have to get internet in this damn place. So, yeah, apparently when you like schedule an appointment for one day, it's like socially acceptable for them to come six whole days later. But, yeah, alright, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. We're continuing on and we got a quest to do from Rafiki, which was to get Hyena Bones, and if we take any longer, he's probably going to mollywop us with that staff, so we should probably get going, although the sun is hasn't been up for that long. So we do have some time to kill, but yeah, so we're right here. When we left off, we were getting savagely torn apart by hyenas, even though we just wanted to get our book, but they weren't having any of it, but we got it now. Um, I was standing in this place here because I think this is going to be like, we can build a house here. I think this will be a good spot for a house. Like Rafiki's tree is right there. You can see it in the distance. So it's nice and close. And then, uh, if you go this way. Oh, what the? F it rains in these pride lands. How often does this happen? It's unacceptable. If you walk this way. Our portal back to the real world is right there, if you can see it in the distance, right in front of that, like, rainforesty area. But yeah, I think this will be, like, a good spot. Actually, if it's... Will the hyena spawn if it's raining? Or no? I don't know. Either way, well, we can go in a cave, I guess, even if they don't. Because we're going to have to get some basic supplies, which is what I was going to say next. Like, I'm not going to build a whole house right now. I might, like, do that off-camera or something. But we'll have some kind of base of operations here. But before we go, like... Uh... I was gonna say we should go in, like, a cave or something and get some... At least stone and, uh... I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's called iron or whatever it's called. And get some, like, weapons. Before we go in, like... Circle of life, all these hyenas. We probably should go in prepared, because... You saw what happened when we were just trying to, like, beat him with our fists. We died, like, a thousand times. So we should probably at least take a look in a cave. Because the hyenas will spawn in there, too. So we can, like, do the quest while bettering ourselves at the same time. Um, should I lay out, like... Boom. Boom. This square... That is not at all fortunate. No, it is. no, it's not. Hold on. Let me fix my square. And break you just because I like some space in my squares. All right. This little rect. It's really a rectangle. It's not a perfect square. Is that even right? I don't know. I think it is. It is it off? It looks kind of no. It's, I think it's no. It's definitely off. This one's not right. I think it's right now. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Alright, this rectangle is now my section of the Pride Lands. And I'm gonna um, put a crafting table here. Because we have to. Alright. Now that we got that out of the way, we have officially claimed a spot. Let's make this pick so we can get some stone. Actually, we'll just take this with us. Cause we don't really need to come back here. But yeah, I'll probably build like a house here at some point. I mean, I don't think this rhino will mind. Can I build here, sir? I cannot see your eyes when I, you stand like that. So I, I kind of want to look like at you from an angle. So I can feel like I'm making some sort of eye contact. Otherwise, it's just like, like what is this? I don't even... I can't... I can't handle this! You gotta die! Wait, wait, we can't... Alright, good. I didn't want to make I want to make sure I picked and like I didn't know how tough those guys were. All right. Anyways, we're gonna move on and actually do the things I said we were gonna do like five minutes ago. So well, yeah. It doesn't look like the hyenas are gonna spawn out here until the sun actually sets. 
But it's not too hard to find a cave. Actually, if we go in a cave, we might find, um... A... Oh my god! It's Timon and Pluma. We won't be able to do anything with these guys right now. But they're still here, and it's still awesome. Like, look at these guys. They're just smirking over here. If you talk to them... They... I thought they did something. Hey, talk to me! No, you can't eat me, you dicks. I'm not gonna kill you. Alright, see, he's not eating them. Um, they're threatening us now. But, like, you can... I think you can trade bugs with these guys, and then they, like, give you cool stuff. I don't know if I said that last time. Really hungry, do you think you can find... Yeah, see, we gotta find them bugs. That's what they want. And then, we can get cool stuff. But I'm not gonna do this now. We'll just let them get through their entire dialogue here and then what was I saying before that oh yeah um yeah pair food is bugs see I knew they hit under logs I wasn't high when I thought that so uh, at least I feel better about that now all right so we got to bring them bugs okay see you later dude all right what I was saying was even if we go in the cave we might find a, a spawner because there's like dungeons with cool stuff in them and I think they'll have hyena spawners I, don't, I mean I've been, I'm, I'm assuming because what else would spawn right, let's just get some stone is this actually a good cave this looks like it might be a pretty solid cave but we got to get some of this stone first hello did I just hear growling? I can't really hear right now, but I can kind of hear. I don't know. Whatever, we're going to keep digging. Actually, we got enough. Alright, let's just, let's F it. We're putting this crap table here. We're making a sword. A pride stone sword. One of the most powerful of all swords, even though there's a lot that are more powerful than it. It still deserves respect. Okay. Well, we'll just make these two things for now. Book there. Get out of here, crap pick! We don't have any use for you anymore! We'll just leave it there, because... Whatever, man. This ain't my world. Alright. Let's just go take a quick peek. Actually, we'll probably get some of this coal, because it's probably going to get pretty dark down here. Let's just get some of this real fast. So I can make some torches. Because if I don't do that, there's probably going to be rides in the streets starting up pretty quickly. This actually looks like it's probably a pretty decent cave. Although, that just wrapped around. Oh yeah, I, I'm definitely here in ground. There's... A large amount of hyenas down here. I don't know why I'm getting more of this. How much wood? Right, we got. I'm gonna be able to stay down here too long because we're gonna run out of torches and then that's just gonna be a bad situation. So this is enough coal. We're just gonna poke around a little bit. Oh yeah, there's hyenas down here. Um. How many? We got three, it looks like, unless there's like a... One's trying to crouching tiger hidden dragon us. Alright, we can, we can fight this. I don't want to get lost, though, so we gotta like, make sure we well... Mark our territory. Uh, and we're just gonna jump down. Bam, 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 bam. Oh god, this might have been a bad idea! Oh god! Oh god! No, this is a terrible idea! No, this one behind us! No, a sneaky one! Ah! Don't kill me, bro! Alright, that was close. Close as hell. We're alive, but we're not gonna get out of here alive. Okay. This is what we call Operation Nobody Panic. Alright, we're okay. We're gonna get back to the service, and then even if we die... Oh, crap. No, don't come here. What? See, those guys are so cheap, man. That guy flew through my sword. I am not baked. Alright. Whatever, it's fine. See, this is why we picked a location close to the spawn. 
Because now... It's already a well-known fact that I suck at games, so dying is inevitable. But if we walk this way... Oh, look. Well, what the hell? Well, we can go over this mountain, which I didn't know was here at the time, because it wasn't loaded in. If we go around here... Oh, look! Here's the place where we were calling home. This is our square. Alright, so... Yeah. It's not a long walk, which is good. But F, man. Did we even get any... Did they even drop any bones? I wasn't even looking. I was just like... I knew we were effed. It's because we went in without food and we like already had no hunger. So, I'm not blaming that on my crappiness at games. I'm blaming that on my crap preparation. Hey, what a dick. This guy's a camper. Camper. Nobody likes campers. What are all these guys doing, man? Wow. Dude, that one is like resilient as H. Alright. If we can keep you in the water. Dude, they're so fast. What the f- This is just unfair. Lion, help me. Yo, lion. Lions are dicks, man. They don't help anybody do anything. Okay. Like, what are you guys doing? Like, Timon and Pumbaa are just walking around. Like, they said they were starving to death, but they're not even trying to find food. They're just standing in this grassy area in the rain, so they're probably going to get pneumonia. Alright. No, don't come up here, dude. Alright, as long as we use cheap tactics like this, we'll be alright. Although, this is getting dangerous now. We're gonna die. Dude, they got mad reach, dude. I'm just killing myself. Watch this. Wah! Alright. See, sometimes you just gotta take your own life. Okay, this is getting out of control. And I blame... The rain. Nobody can properly do anything... In these crap weather conditions. It just... It's just not possible. Alright, for real. I thought we were like... Gonna be all right once we had a sword, but I was definitely like, look at this. That they, they won't even let me get back. They're everywhere, man. All right, as long as we keep running. Maybe if we just run and don't stop, we can get the sword back, and then we can fight our way out. Some might call this. Fool's mission. But I call it. We really have no other choice. I mean, we do. We definitely do. But. I don't want another choice. Alright, which way do we go? This way? Do we go down anywhere? Alright, there's our stuff. It's guarded. Alright, where's the sword at? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Do 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 do. Alright, we got a pick. Good enough. Okay, see that? They're not tough when they're not ganging up on you. Okay. Let's reassess our situation. Oh, we got a head tight. Okay. We have three bones. Holy F. I, they don't drop dick for bones, man. We gotta get a whole stack of these? Alright. Either way. Let's just... Let's just keep going. Like, why the F not? Although we can only make that many more torches because we're running out of sticks, but it's fine. Can we wear this? Oh. That'd be tight if you could wear it. And then they would think you're one of their own. And you could stab them in the back. Because they would deserve something like that. Alright. Whatever. We don't need to have an organized inventory. Let's just... I don't know, but if they're all gonna be like pretty hardcore like that, I'm not sure I wanna find a whole bunch of them in a small confined space. 
in like a dungeon-y setting. 